Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Sometimes one of the hardest things to do in college football is to stand your ground by keeping the ball on the ground. Over the last decade or so, we've seen an offensive explosion, much of it centered around the passing game. Sort of refreshing to see a team believe that it can win at the highest level by running the football in an old school kind of way. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. field to kick this one off and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started and he's tackled at the 30 yard line seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time today they take the field for the last time the quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive Side and there's nothing going there. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. Second and ten. Ball on the 30 yard line. Here he goes. And they finally knock him out at the 41. Ramsey's looking to get in the record books in this one. He's a very special player. He really deserves all the praise and awards he could get. Big game for this guy. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. rid of this one even though they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers he's going to try and scramble tackle around the 41 yard line third down third down now and they need to get it down to the 31 Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. First and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. Herman running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he converts the extra point. 
Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. They are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. It felt as if the game rested on every play. And for Cox, he had a pair of touchdown strikes. The Miners walk out with a seven-point win in another game. Let's check in on some Big 12 action. The Red Raiders go up top and strike first with a touchdown. Benjamin's ability in the passing game is completely evident already with a touchdown pass. The Red Raiders are out front. 7-0 early in the first. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Ewing has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Davis fields it at the 2. Across the 30. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. made at the 45. Man, that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. Nice run there. throw to the tight end and they push him out right around the 42 yard line we got a flag down on the field offside. might have been offside they get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down nice protection a good pass and even a better catch he can ask for much more than that and the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one he took the snap and he threw it right out there He's at the 30, and he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. He's at the 20. Brought down around the 18-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's got room to run. Touchdown, Oregon. Will be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a six-play, 67-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Myron from the five. Tackle at the 27-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He makes his way to about the 38. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 38. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Nothing there on the keeper. No gain on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Let's go, let's go! Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down around the 45-yard line. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he is drilled at 
the 38. And for Carrington, he's having a good year. Five sacks on the season now. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. Van is back deep to return. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, we get a tie game at 7-7. We're all tied up as we head into quarter number two. Parker will be the return man. He's to the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 40. Throws out and through his hands. The pass ball is incomplete. Number 34, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Positive yardage. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 30. Swings it. And down he goes at the 27. bit too much mustard on that throw and it got away from him. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27. Here's a throw and it's almost picked. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. And he might want it all here and done. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. 
It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Boise State is looking to go up by three. It has the distance. And he nails the long field goal. Here's an update from the studio and restate. Let's get you up to date on some games that could really wreak havoc on the BCS standing. Check out these two teams keeping it close. And for Williams, he barreled into the end zone for a touchdown. Nebraska on top, 14-10. All right, Reese, back to our game. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. And down he goes at the 22. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 20. He's scrambling. Very good tackle in space. The ball pops free. Recovered by the defense. And he's leveled at the 19-yard line. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover ball. They need to hold on to the football. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick strike to the receiver. And he tackles him hard at the 10-yard line. Second down now, they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Boise State is up by three. He fights forward to about the seven. six-yard line. The option gets them a yard at best. The Broncos will use their first time out of the half. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Touchdown, Broncos! And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. Here's a hotly contested battle. The Cornhuskers lead 14-13. Elsewhere, time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The Red Raiders fumble recovery for a touchdown proves one thing. Their defense is everywhere. Texas Tech leads it 21-14. Ten-point game here, Reese, 17-7. Ewing has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. The Ducks taking their first time out of the half. 
Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's knocked out of bounds around the 44-yard line. That makes it first and 10. to tuck it in and he's got space tackle made around the 38 yard line here's the halfback on the screen he's at the 20 he's pushed out of bounds at the 17 well the defensive line has to do a better job there of feeling that screen out and a lot times the offensive line will dictate whether or not it is going to be a screen pass or not and when they feel and sense the offensive lineman releasing out to get out in front of the screen and to be able to try to make a play downfield again the defensive line is the key for any defense and being able to slow down the screen pass. from the 17 yard line first down has some daylight a huge play and now they're in a great position to score Oregon will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. This is the eighth play of this drive. Touchdown, Ducks. was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Brian, ready to kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. Boise State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. He's going right. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled right around the third. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. Boise State will take their second time out of the half. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Boise State is up a field goal. He passes it. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. That makes it second and ten. This one's going deep to the end zone. Can't connect. Number 34 was the intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Deep ball, laying it out there. Touchdown, Boise State. the PAT. A four-play, 78-yard drive, and 
they put up seven points. I think the big thing there, Brad, is that they were able to execute the passing game. When you can get big plays and great execution, obviously you can move the ball down the field. Looks like they're ready for the kick. From the seven. Brought down at the 23-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Van picks up about four yards on the play. That's a deal four. That makes it second and six. From their own 16-yard line, second down. We played a half of football. The Broncos lead 24-14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This team's now got a hill to climb in the second half. We anticipated it being a tight game, but as you watch this team late in the half, you started to see guys looking for answers. You could almost sense it. They were looking at who's going to take ownership, who's going to lead and make a play. Somebody has to step up right now, Dave. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you come into games, you, you feel like you have this huge game plan and all this stuff you want to accomplish, and sometimes it doesn't work. And sometimes you got to start changing things around, and sometimes it's simple. Sometimes the quarterback needs to come in the huddle and say, hey, guys, you want to protect me a little better? You know, you... They need to say some things that, that makes people feel uncomfortable sometimes to get a rise out of them and knowing your team. Sometimes middle linebackers have to get the defense all in tight and say, listen, you need to make sure you're taking care of this. They've been killing us on this route. It's your fault. Step up. The leaders in the huddle a lot of times can say the things that the coaches can't and get a different reaction. Well, maybe it's time I say something to you, too. It's time for you to pick up your game at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. At the 30. He's tackled at the 33. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. I'm coming up to you. I'm coming up to you. Mike 13. Mike 13. Here we go. And they get nice yardage on that one. Third down. Zips it to the back. Brought down at the 34. Gross. Only gains about a yard with that catch. Lamb to punt. Tackle at the 49. Pretty good job by the return man there. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. And 
and they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Solid stop there by the corner on that one. I'll tell you, I love to see a cornerback willing to step up and make tackles like that. From the 47-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down at about the 37-yard line. seven-yard line. It's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. Exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Guns up. Texas Tech doing battle in love. Let's take a look at this one again. And for Kansas, stubbornly keeping it on the ground and scoring a touchdown. Every punch has been counterpunch. A 21-21 tie. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Number six. From his own goal line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The Bronco staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Lowry takes it left. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. First down here, Brad, by this offense. The receiver's running the football. You gotta think as a defensive coordinator, it's one thing to try to defend it, kind of your, your, your traditional offensive attack, but here you gotta start worrying about what is this wide receiver gonna do? Puts a lot of pressure on the defense and the defensive mindset on how they wanna try to slow this offense down. And he's taken down at the 50. First down. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's tackled around the 26 yard line. First down. Quick out to his receiver. That's a great tackle at the 18. Mills brings him down at the 18-yard line. That makes it second and two. Coming to you, coming to you. Let's go. Red Let's They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Green gets it to his tailback. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call.
It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Scramble. Slides down. So with one quarter remaining, the Broncos lead 31-14. this very pivotal fourth quarter. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's on the run. Got the corner. He's taken down at the three. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there. They can do better than that. They line up at the 14. First down. a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Nice run there. So he got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. four-yard line. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and ten. than three minutes in the game. Let's go. Black, 
Gets out to about the 21. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Third and eight. Ball on the 21 yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown, Boise State. the PAT. So a nine play, 98 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Davis fields it at the two, and down he goes at the 31 yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Mike 13, Mike 13. Here we go, Z, get off the field. Wants to throw outside. The senior makes the catch. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. it out and it falls incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. He airs it out. And he's tackled at the one. This secondary better tighten it up. They're taking a slow down this drive. That makes it first and goal. catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Caught it, and the conversion is good. Taken down to 39 yard line. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Just under two to go in the game. He fights forward to about the 30. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Oregon will take their second time out of the half. 
Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's hit and got away. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. The Ducks using their third and last timeout. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 16. The 10. Gains his way to the seven yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Boise State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That brings this broadcast to a close. 3A Sports and Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.